This is a follow-up video to my previous video where I discussed the accuracy of estimating image PPI using fingerprint ridge spacing. In this video, I will show how APHIS search results degrade as your estimate gets further away from the actual image PPI. I also present a procedure you can use to increase your chances of finding a match in your database when you have had to estimate your image PPI. The results were pretty encouraging. In my previous video, I showed the results of PPI estimates made using ridge spacing at different locations on fingerprints depending on pattern types. I used 55 examples of each pattern type to make the estimates. I won't get into the details again, but essentially, the smallest PPI estimate was 346, and the largest PPI was 708. So using our CSI PIX case APHIS algorithm, I ran tests to see how detection of a latent actual match would be affected by incorrectly estimating the latent image's PPI. The latent images I used were actually 500 PPI. My estimates went from 350 to 700 in steps of 25. So the maximum errors were minus 30% up to 40% that reflected the actual estimates I made in the previous research. The first set of tests I ran, I used 86 good latents from the NIST 27 database against 4,375 knowns, which included one match for each of those latents. The only filter I used for this research was fingerprint pattern when the pattern on the latent was obvious. This graph shows the results of those APHIS searches. The horizontal axis has the PPI estimates. The vertical axis is the percentage of actual matches found by the APHIS search. The blue line shows the percentage of latents that had actual matches with the highest score out of the 4,375 knowns. So the actual match had a rank number one. You can see that at the actual PPI of 500, the detection was highest at 96.5% for rank one. The brown line shows the percentage of actual matches that are from rank 20 to 1. So the numbers are highest at 100% when the estimate was 500. Detection of the actual match drops off more and more as you move away from 500, as you would expect. It's not as symmetrical as I thought it would be. It's actually worse to underestimate the resolution. I'm going to focus on the brown line, the rank 20 and better. If the estimate is off by 50 PPI, so plus minus 10 percent. Detection doesn't degrade too much, it's still very good. If the estimate is off by minus 100, so we got to 400, it's a 72 percent. If we increase the latent PPI estimate to be around 600, detection is at 80 percent. There's a steep drop off over here on the left after 400, and you get a more gradual decline over here on this side. This graph shows the results of APHIS searches I ran using 83 of the bad latents from the NIST 27 database. The results for these latents show a similar pattern to the goods. Detection gets worse the further away you get from the actual image resolution, and it's worse to underestimate than overestimate. You could pause the video here if you want to take time to look at the numbers in detail. And this graph shows the results of the APHIS searches I ran using the 84 ugly latents from the NIST 27 database. The same kind of results we saw with the goods and the bads. Sort of this asymmetrical drop off where it's worse to underestimate the resolution. So since detection of the actual match drops off so much, um, I wanted to come up with a strategy to help you be able to find the match, if it is in the database obviously, when you have to estimate a PPI. So the algorithm I thought I would test would be to run a search with your estimate that you made using ridge spacing. If no match is found, you rerun the searches based on that estimate, but you increase it by 25% or decrease it by 25%. What this will do is put you back towards the sweet spot, close to the actual PPI, if your estimate was not a good one, for at least one of these three searches. This is the step-by-step -step procedure that I used. Uh, worst case is you have to run three searches, but you usually won't have to. So make the estimate using the ridge spacing. I shouldn't have said width, it should be spacing. Run the APHIS search of your latent 
at that initial estimated PPI. If your match is not found, then you need to retest at a new PPI of 1.25 times the initial estimate. Then you rerun the AFA search, and if you don't find a match there, you rerun using a new PPI of the initial PPI times 0.75, and you rerun the AFA search at that lower estimate. Here are the results for the good latents at 500. I already found them all at the initial results, so I didn't have to run the other two. As you move away from the actual PPI, you miss more as you go, but after searching the plus minus 25%, you really reduce the number of missed matches. I uh, consider a match to be missed if the actual match was ranked 21 or higher, so it's found if it has one of the top 20 scores. So you can see at 350, which is a pretty bad estimate, initially I missed 68 of them, but after employing this strategy I only missed 7. At 700, I go from missing 54 to none. So the strategy really works, for the goods anyway. This is the result of the strategy on the bad latents. These are the PPI estimates. These are the initial results, just doing the one search. So you can see that it doesn't improve anything when, you've, when your estimate is already good, but the improvement is uh, much greater as you get further away from the actual resolution. At 350, went from 72 miss to 13. At 700 PPI, went from 56 just down to 7. So it helped with these a lot too. And for the ugly latents, these are the results. The strategy actually did help uh, even at 500 for these, maybe because of deposition pressure. Maybe the, the minutiae were spread apart in some of the images. I'm not sure. I should look at those in more detail. At 350 PPI, just running the single AFA search uh, initially, miss 75. It got down to 28 after doing the plus minus 25. At 700 PPI, it went from 62 to 10. So the results were really pretty good. So the strategy is more work, but it does greatly increase your chance of finding a match if it is in the database. Um, there's some other strategies I want to experiment with if I get time. I think that trying minus 20% and plus 30% would probably actually give slightly better results. If I have time, I will test that out and I'll put the results in a video That's if anyone's interested. Okay, thank you for watching. If you've ever experimented with this type of thing or if you want to try it, let me know. I'd be really interested to hear. Thank you for watching. Here's all my contact information if you have any comments or questions.